Then they came to Africa, and they came to the part of Africa. Now, all the rest of them, they put in little flag colors. Those flag colors are, are orange-red, if you notice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when they came to Africa, found out that the African people have nine nine DNA series from here just below the Shanghai Empire down to the foot of Africa. All those ten nations of which African Americans descended from one of them. We have nine DNA series. The greatest possibility of genius in our group. Now it's answered this age-old question mm -hmm. How can a people survive being told they're nothing for 400 years, never allowed to learn that they can One of the things I've made up my mind that I would always do is to reveal and expose all the lies that has been told about the black people, about the black race, about African American. You know. Do you know that Africa have university 44,000 years ago? When they come to tell you that we're uneducated, we are not developed, just know that it's a lie. They wrote their first book 2,800 ago, 2,800. 20, That's the first book the European wrote. The first person that wrote book, but so that means forty two thousand years ago, we've been advanced for forty two thousand years before they even start to say they want to write a book that they want to get non knowledgeable, they want to get educated. Forty four thousand years ago, let's go watch this video. Um, this great man is a black man, Edward. Robinson, I, I stumbled on this video and um, I want us to watch him. Sometimes, you know, you'll be stirred up to know that you are, you've been destined from creation as a great man. Your DNA is greatness. Let's go watch it and I'll be right back. Credits are given to our content in this video. Don't go nowhere. I'll be right back. My brother and I read a book called the mark of oppression and this mark this these two publish publishers Cardiner and Oversee said that they could not understand how is it that a, a group of people African Americans have been bludgeoned over their heads mentally and spiritually for hundreds of years and are still surviving they couldn't understand it and they said so in their book. The answer came out in 1996. Why it is that not only have African Americans survived the worst mental and spiritual bludgeoning of any people in recorded history, but they are becoming champions of everything in which there is a level playing field. No matter what it is, we predominate in every field. This is why they won't teach our children African history, because they know that once our children get on the same level playing field as their white counterparts, that they will dominate just like we dominate in basketball, baseball, football, track and field, and anything else in which there is a level playing field. So that while they teach their children about the greatness of their European ancestors, they won't teach our children about the greatness of their African ancestors because then that would be a level playing field in academia. And they know that we will predominate just like all of these examples we've given them that our children predominate when they know who they are from the African historical point of view. 
Now, here's what I found out in 1996. A group of geneticists wrote this book. Who Little tiny pen. Geneticists. Can you identify where they're from and the group. how it came about? Yeah, okay. Study? All right, sure. Yes, indeed. As a, an organization is called the American Association for the Advancement of Science. The American Association for the Advancement of Science. Now, this organization is composed of people who study about DNA and the genome. And you've been reading about the DNA and the genomes. Well, this group of scientists came upon an idea by accident and at first that different groups of people had different numbers of DNA series. Explain that. Now, a DNA series means that when your DNA is located and say they get a hair from your head and they you subject it to certain tests, they say, well, this is the DNA of Minister Brown and yours is different from everybody else in the world. All right? Then they found further that not only are their DNA series different, but the number of DNAs in there are different in different groups. Whites have a different number of DNA, and blacks have a different number of DNA series. Apes have a different number of DNA series. Then they found this amazing thing, that the greater the number of DNA series, the smarter the person, the group is the greater the probability of genius within that group. So they tested the orangutans, these 15 geneticists from around the world. That, now, these geneticists came from nine different universities. And we have here on the cover of the pamphlet they put out the names of these geneticists. And you can see them right there right beneath, right beneath the title of this pamphlet. Now this pamphlet, most people have no idea what it means. But breaking it down and after you study it and have it explained to you by a geneticist, a trained geneticist, you will find that they're talking about DNA series. Now here are the names of these 15 geneticists from around the world, University of Japan, University of China, Yale University is the headquarters of this organization called the American Association for the Advancement of Science. And you see it down there. Now this was copyrighted in 1996. All right. What it said is this, and this is, this is the mind-blowing part. It said that when they tested the orangutan, they found out he only had three DNA series. When they tested the gorilla, they found that the gorilla had four DNA series. Well, they're a little, he's a little smarter than the orangutan. They tested the chimpanzee, which is an ape, and found that he had five DNA series. Then they went into, they went all into the different races of the world. They went into Europe and tested the DNA series of the English, the French, the German, the Spanish, the Russians, and found they had six DNA series. Then they put all of this, what they found from around the world, on a map. And this map really is called the intelligence map of the world because they tested 116 different human groups and found their DNA series numbers. All of them, all over the world, have six. And they put the n numbers in form of a little flag that you can see on this map. These little flags have a color and they show oh this is this is upside down 
<laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. And they showed that the English have only six, and it's all into Europe, only six, went over into Japan and China, and they only have six. Over into America with the predominantly European, and they only have six. Then they came to Africa, and they came to the part of Africa. Now, all the rest of them, they put in little flag colors. Those flag colors are, are orange-red, if you notice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when they came to Africa, found out that the African people have nine, nine DNA series from here just below the Songhai Empire down to the foot of Africa. All those ten nations of which African Americans descended from one of them, we have nine DNA series, the greatest possibility of genius in our group. Now it's answered this age-old question. Mm -hmm. How can a people survive being told they're nothing for 400 years, never allowed to learn that they came from beautiful cities and told they came from a jungle? How could a people survive? How can a people become champions in everything they touch? because they have nine DNA series, while the rest of the world has only six. This is why they copyrighted this. And you notice on the outside of this, now th this map is taken, I took this map right from this page here. And I blew it up so that the world could see it. Even though this is copyrighted, I can't let you have this book because it's copyrighted. Can you give us the, title of the, book? the title of the book is called Glo Global Patterns of Linkage, Disequilibrium at the CD4 Locus and Modern Human Origins. Global Patterns of Linkage, Disequilibrium at the CD4 Locus and modern human origin. Now you have to be a geneticist to even know what, that's to what they're talking about. But when we broke it down and interviewed uh, Dr. Kidd, the head, he's the chairman at Yale University, we broke it down into plain everyday English so that the world would know that the African American is descended from those people who gave to the world the Great Pyramid, gave to the world science, gave to the world mathematics. A black man named Amos gave algebra to the world 3,700 years ago. It's in the world books, it's in the, it's in the encyclopedias. They don't want our children to know this because then that would make the level, the playing field level for white children. And you know what happened when they made the playing field level in basketball and allowed black men to play. Out of 29 of the top seeded players in the world today, 28 are African American. When they opened up the pen relays, when they opened up the Olympics and allowed blacks to run back in 1932, we've won all the gold medals. And the same thing will happen in the classroom when they allow our children to learn their African history. That's what this is saying. Do you also know that a research was done in 1996? It was kept a secret because they don't want you to know about anything. They don't want you to know about who you are. The greatness that is that is that is embedded, that is lined up, that is programmed in your blood. Mark my word, I'm saying this word carefully and deliberately. Greatness that has been lined up in your blood. Your blood, in your blood lies greatness.
you're not just anybody, you're not just anyhow. You were created deliberately, carefully, wonderfully, powerfully. Therefore, the DNA that flows in your blood system is created constructively, genuinely, deliberately to be great. Anything that is abnormal, anything that is above usual, anything that is above normal is what you are meant to do as a black man. And this, they had for ages. In 1996, a, um, a research was done on DNAs among up, upon um, races of the world, about 116 races. That's what we have all over the world. They went to Asia, they went to America, Europe, just just name it, Spanish, the, the Italian, the, the British, they just, they went ahead to do tests. And of course, they, they also, they went to Africa. I'm sure you have listened to this, but peradventure you didn't listen. Maybe you, and that's how I, I, I always advise that you, you don't, you don't, you shouldn't, you should not fast forward anything. Listen carefully. Don't fast forward. But peradventure you fast forwarded it. I'm giving a paraphrase. I'm giving a summary of what the doctor said. Do you know that all of the races in the world they, were, they have six DNA series? It is only Africa, but he said about ten countries from Africa. They have nine DNA series. Do you know what that means? Kai. And guess what? They copyrighted it so that the result will not be released because they were not expected. The, 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 the professor said they were not. The doc, yeah, the uh, 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 professor Robinson. He said they eat. They thought they were going to be probably ahead. It's going to be like maybe Africa is going to be lower. But to their amazement, they were shocked. They were ridiculed to find out that black African American African the black man has nine DNA series. Why they have all of them, Europe, Spanish, Italian, uh, Chinese, all of them, they have six, six DNA series. Chimpanzee have five. They are close to those guys. So they see the gap between a black man and them. And they hide this. And the man, doctor was like, how will you, how will a young African man know the greatness that is in him when all of this information I would told from him or her, how will he know? Oh God. Guys, if you love this great content, subscribe, like, and share. But I've made up my mind that I'll be sharing information that I get here so that every black man on the street can know the greatness that is within him or her. She should know. You should begin. I'm also talking to myself because a lot of things I'm meant to be doing. I'm like, oh, can I do it? No, there's no can I do it. Because who you are meant to be is that you can do it. Thank you guys for watching. I want your conversations to begin at the conversation. Let's talk about it. And do what to spread this video. I saw this video somewhere. I'm, I'm sharing it. So also you should share this. Let everybody get this information that, oh my. Thank you guys. Until I come your way again. Bye-bye.